Hello everyone, this is Hero Linnea. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest VI, Realms of Revelation, for the DS. Previously, after clobbering Murdal, the party got set up with vocations from All Trades Abbey, which has reappeared in the Dream World. Now we're ready to sail the seas aboard the Providence. I wonder how many monsters we've sent to the Great Beyond. I should have kept score. Well, always more where they came from, I. A day like this does wonders for one's positivity. Look, even Peggy Sue is chomping at the bit. Snort. Nay! Hmm. I've been a bit run down lately, you know. I need to take better care of myself. Let's get Nevin in the party. I sense that there are monsters lurking in the vicinity. We must be on our guard. You put on the edged boomerang, Hayrot, and toss the mirror in the bag. And Ashlyn, give the staff of Ghent to Nevin. I like Nevin's HP a lot more than Ashland's. Now it's time to sail the sea. We'll check things out south of Somnia first. Some cauldrons appear, huh? Hello, cauldrons. Looks like an octopus and a cauldron. This lovely staff. Oh, Millie. Goodbye, cauldrons. There was Port Somnia. Ah, what have we here? We seem to have a lone house south of Somnia. That guy over there lives all by his lonesome, I. Isn't it inconvenient to live alone in a place like this? One would think so. Let's see if this fellow has any useful information for us. Hello, sir. Can it really be? Visitors! Real live visitors! It's so nice to see you! If you head south of here, you can behold the spires of Castle Swanstone. Swanstone, eh? But the monsters? But the mountains are too treacherous to cross on foot. You'll need to go by water through the strait. Unfortunately, the floodgate is closed at present, so you won't be able to go that way either. Seems like your options for visiting Castle Swanstone are rather limited. If only there was some other way through. Well, we may be able to find one. Crikey. Getting there sounds like a pain, I. Well, let's keep it in mind. Castle Swanstone, due south. Castle Swanstone. I wonder what kind of place it is. Let's keep Castle Swanstone in mind for the future. Anything on the bookshelf? No? How about... The chest of drawers. Nothing special there, either. Well, this place is kind of a bust. And here's the floodgate he was speaking of. There seem to be two castles to the south. Dread Herring, Thriller Wave, Marine Spirits. Nice, Carver. Millie! 
Yes, she's a gadabout right now. Ah, Frizzle! Goodbye, enemies! And Ashlyn reaches level 10. She learns evac. Very nice, Ashlyn. So, Ashlyn, congrats on level 10. Alrighty. Yes, Carver's currently a warrior ruffian. I don't think there's a rank one skill for the warrior, though. Alrighty. Oh, what have we here? A stairway in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. It seems to lead back to the dream world. But we are on an island. And there seems to be nothing to do here. Very curious. What have we down here? A checkpoint? Leading towards that castle to the south. Come on! I've got places to be and people to swindle! That guard just won't wake up! Come on! He's the only one who knows how to open the gate, but he's sleeping on the job! So we're stuck on this side, I. Eh? Ah well. No wonder people are frustrated. What could have happened to the guard? Hmm, a guard that cannot be woken up. What could be the matter with him? I fear he may have succumbed to the terrible sleeping sickness that's doing the rounds. They say that nothing can bring you round. You sleep and sleep and sleep until you die. Whoa, so you just sleep to death? Sounds creepy. Has such a sickness really been doing the rounds? A fatal sleeping sickness? We cannot turn a blind eye to this. If only there was something we could do to come to this poor man's aid. I mounted my gloopy steed and rode all this way to serve the Prince of Howcastle. Now look at me, stuck here, quite literally. How will I ever get to Howcastle? A slime knight, huh? A few, a few. Hmm, so this is the Isle of Smiles. Isle of Smiles, huh? I'm sure glad I crossed the mountains from Arkvolt Castle and headed up north for this. A few. Mountains north of Arkvolt Castle, huh? Crossing the mountains north of Arkvolt, this fellow is dreaming some very detailed directions. Indeed he is. Isla Smiles, where have I heard that name before? Aye, he's out like a bent nail, all right. Very curious. Obviously, we cannot go that way yet. To progress that way, we'll first have to go north from Arkbolt. But according to Madame Luca, first we have to head to Scrimsley. Hello, enemies. Marine Mollusk, Dread Herring, and Cauldrone.
Goodbye, enemies. Ah, oh, what have we here? A reef of some kind. Very interesting. What is this place? Look, over there! Is that a mermaid? I cannot believe what I am seeing. Mermaids, huh? Hep. I doubted my own eyes, but this was no dream. Wait, are you telling me mermaids live here? They all swam off when they spotted our ship. Must not be too fond of humans. Anyway, we now have to go to Scrimsley. We can land right here. North Scrimsley. We're not in any particular hurry. Why don't we pay this town a quick visit? Well, Madame Luca recommended it. There's a town up ahead. Worth taking a look, I, Hayrot. I have heard tell of the town of Swimsley, but I haven't yet had the opportunity to visit it. We're due east of Ghent, and north from Port Haven. We now have wild carrots. Hello, wild carrots. Too bad we don't have any wild bunnies to take care of them. This must be Scrimsley. This town has a lovely aura, and yet... Something about this place is not quite right. So, this is... So, this is Scrimsley, I. Nice place. This town feels spacious and pleasant. Welcome, travelers. This here is Scrimsley. A forest glade is a delightful spot for a town. But why do I feel a little uneasy? This is the part of traveling I like. Meeting new folks, listening to their stories. Hopefully we can pick up some you Hopefully we can pick up some helpful information here. Are we taking a load off our feet, Hayrot? So this is Scrimsley's Inn. What a homely place. It's nice to see an inn that's so spick and span. Hello, sir. You'll find we do things at our own pace here in Scrimsley. So I'm afraid we're not open for business just yet. Try again a bit later if you must. Uh, if you must? Perhaps we can stroll around a bit while the innkeeper gets things in order. They're closed, I. Ah well. Let's try back later, Hayrot. Why don't we have a look around town for a while? Good idea. Ah, here's a minstrel. I stayed in this humble inn just last night, but I feel every bit as exhausted as I did when I arrived. Such frightful noises I heard in the night. It felt like the earth itself was shaking beneath me. What price a good night's sleep, I ask you? Nothing wakes me up once I start sawing logs. Earthquakes, thunder, end of the world, nothing. Did you see the bags under his eyes? He clearly didn't get enough sleep. I confess I am perplexed by this man's tale. But I sense this town conceals some dark secret. And we must find out what it is. What luck! An antidotal herb! Very nice. Well, something seems to have... done some stomping around here. 
Look at all those footprints and such in the north. And 15 gold coins. Travelers, by all that is sacred, I beseech you, heed the word of the goddess. You must leave this town by nightfall. You are not wanted here. Are we causing someone trouble by being here? This priest has appealed to the goddess and telling us to leave this town. It is not a warning to be idly ignored. I see something glinting around here. Pfft! Why would the goddess care if we are here or not? Heorot examines the area around his feet. What luck! A mini medal! Very nice! And that is medal number 10 for us. By gum, I'd never seen the like of it, I tell you. Hordes of monsters they were. As you'll discover, we don't take kindly to outsiders disturbing the peace here in Scrimsley. Luckily, our Amos, hero of the hour, stopped them in their tracks. That Amos, he's a right good sort, he is. Amos, huh? Is he famous? So, this Amos is viewed as a hero in this town. Hero of the hour, I. That's not a very long time to be a hero. It sounds like this... It sounds like this Amos person is a protector of the peace here. Look at you lot, swanning about with your fancy clothes and your la-di-da hairdos. Well, excuse us. You won't find me traipsing round the world, let me tell you. Everything a man needs can be found right here in Scrimsley. I'm staying put. I was hoping for some slightly more enlightening information. What's he blabbering about? He's just jealous of my hair. What there is of it, Carver. Well, at least he seems to like it here. Welcome to the armor shop. Let's see what they have. Well, nothing we need right now. Thank you, ma'am. And here's the weapon shop. We don't need anything from here, either. Well, thank you. We may have showed those monsters what for, but it's not as if we've got naught to worry about. Every night it is now, like clockwork. Um... Hark at me gabbing away. I'm talking a right load of old blather. Don't mind me, will you? And... Crikey. I hate it when folks just trail off in the middle of a tale. Every night, like clockwork, just what happens here after dark? Yes, they seem to be hiding something. A dark secret lurks in the hearts of the people of Scrimsley. But as to its nature, I haven't the faintest idea. I'll tell you, Summit, I'm not half worried about our Amos. Ever since that terrible day, he's been feeling poorly and has taken to bed. I'm curious about this Amos fellow. Come on, Hayrot, let's ask around town to see if we can learn some more about him. That terrible day? Did he stub his toe or something? I pray whatever ails this Amos is nothing too serious. Anyone in this house? Well, hello, dog. Sniff. Arf, arf! The poor pup seems a little down. It seems like there's something weighing on his mind. Hmm? What's the matter with the mutt? That dog does seem somewhat down in the mouth. 
I wonder what the matter could be. Oh, someone's in bed in the Eastern Room. There's a book entitled, Canine Communication, Making Head and Tail of Your Dog. Heh <laughs> heh. Heyrot takes it from the shelf and reads an excerpt. The first step is to crouch down and look your dog square in the eye. Become one with the dog in your mind, and then try speaking to it. Start with a few simple barks and woofs, and you'll begin to see signs of recognition in your dog's face. Ah, uh, there's a book entitled, A Slime Story, Part 4. Let's see what this volume has to say. It is I, Uzo. Excuse my sh shaky p penmanship, for I have been beaten black and, er, uh, even bluer. I was well and truly mauled by a nameless cat in that nameless village who unleashed a nameless special attack. While I gloopily glick... While I gloopily licked my wounds, I sought solace in my goo-eared copy of The Quotable Slime. The wise words of Lord Dripping Ooze have never rung truer. There are countless roads open to the open-hearted slime. Inspired by these words, I knew I could not give up if I wanted to succeed in my quest. Nothing of interest there. Alrighty. Must break pot. What luck, a scale shield. Since we have stuff that's so much better. Ah well. Hello, sir. Ouch, ouch, ouch. By gum, that don't half hurt. Now, what was it you wanted? What's that you say? Town hero? Me? Oh, I'm no hero. I just sk I just can't stand idly by while the good folk of Scrimsley are terrorized by monsters. But that last time, I got into a spot of bother, and one of them little beasts bit me right on my behind. Ow, oh, that must be painful. But a sharp nip in the rump is a small price to pay to see the smiles back on the faces of the good folk of Scrimsley. But now the sun's setting, and I advise you strongly to find a bed for the evening. Why don't you take yourselves to the local hostelry and turn in for the night? Ouch! So that's Amos, I. I thought he'd be more mean and muscular, but he seems like a nice enough fella. Amos isn't just a hero, he's a gentleman too. Might I suggest that we take our leave? Perhaps we should take Amos's advice and find a bed in for the evening here in town. Not a bad idea. In fact, that's what we need to progress. Now that Murdaugh's gone, I fear a deluge of big city sorts visit in Scrimsley. I don't trust them as far as I can spit them. Well, I would hardly describe us as big city sorts. Still, the man's distinct lack of enthusiasm for tourists is clear. He didn't seem very welcoming, did he, Hayrot? No, not very. It sounds to me like he'd rather not have any visitors at all. Nothing wrong with a little tourism. The death of Murdaugh is starting to have positive effects all over. Tourism brings money. It were like this, see? My little lad were set upon by a right big gang of monsters. Absolute terrors they were. Well, our Amos won't stand for any of that, so he wades right in and rescues the little tyke. Now our Amos, wouldn't you know it, won't hear a word of thanks. A more humble hero you couldn't hope to find. Crikey! I spend any more time around here, and I'll start worshipping Amos. 
This Amos seems to wear his heroic status lightly. He must have been terribly worried about his son. It's only thanks to our Amos that we're all here together as a family. What a smashing fellow he is! Everybody's Amos this and Amos that. This guy's like another me. I feel bad for wandering in while dinner is being prepared. I'm sure nothing beats living together with family. And there we find three gold coins. Such an amazing haul. Hello, kiddo. Take that, monster face. That'll learn you. Take that. And that. Hardy har Reminds me of myself when I was a little rascal. It seems that Scrimsley... It seems that Scrimsley has found its next Amos. He seems like he has a bright future ahead of him as this town's guardian. And there we find another mini-medal. Jolly good. We now have eleven. Nothing there. Alrighty. Another mini-medal found. And here's the item shop. You're not Scrimsley folk, are you? Well, if there's some at your after, you'd best talk to my old man. How cute. Can we buy him a little something, Hayrot? That kid's pretty sharp, minding the store at his age. He reminds me of my own happy childhood, helping my grandfather with, with his sacred duties. And here's the item shop. Nothing I really need. They don't even have a more Seco Essence. Excuse us while we go through your drawers, ma'am. If you're looking for that old duffer I call my husband, you'll find him traipsing about outside. Old duffer, huh? Honeymoon's over, I. Right? <laughs> I'd say so. This woman no doubt owes her safety and well-being to the indefatigable Amos. This house must be home to that lady and her husband. And here we find a set of rags. How wonderful! And a set of bookshelves. With a book entitled, Warrior Cat Tales Part 3. Well, let's see what the warrior cat has to say now. Meow! Welcome to one cat's catalog of feline fabulousness. I was a mere two-year-old kitten when I first took on a slime in battle. I took aim at its wobbly blue flesh, unleashed a well-timed claw attack, and it was out for the count. Yes, that first slimy duel was a doddle. I guess that's the other side of the story. Well, we'll save in here before going to the inn. There's no one quite like our Amos. The people of Scrimsley owe him our lives. Now to see him in that state, well, it's just not right. Whatever's bothering him, it's not a common cold. He won't be bouncing back any time soon. Why don't we take a rest and then go and check on Amos? It seems certain that being bitten on the behind is what lies, er, uh, behind this malady. Heh <laughs> heh. So, this is Heirat Linnea. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.